What's up YouTube fam? Uh, just want to go over a few things that will help you get your motocross or straight dirt bike on the road or otherwise just help you out with riding at night. Uh, what I have is a 2005 Honda CRF 450R which is the straight up motocross edition of uh, this bike I guess rather. Anyway um, I live out here in Texas and here's a few things that I did that was able to get my bike uh, street legal. Uh, I still haven't gotten a plate yet but these are pretty much the steps straight from the tax office or aka the DMV that's required for you to get it street legal out here. Now one thing in particular that I see a lot or the videos that I was doing my research on is that this bike doesn't have like set up electrical stuff like i'm not a super awesome wizard when it comes to doing electrical things however this should probably help you out one thing that i did pick up uh first thing i picked up through a lot of my research was the tusk uh lighting kit so you've got the tail light license plate holder part the blinkers which um this is pretty crappy but i haven't actually secured it all the way so there's that uh and then also just trying to find like the best access route um i gotta do a carb clean on this anything anyway so it's like i've gotta pretty much take the whole subframe off and do all that jazz so i haven't really kind of like finalized everything but anyway uh, i'll show you a few things about my bike but let's cover the things that i use to get my bike uh legit and in case you didn't know I, I live in a trailer but don't judge me it's a lifestyle choice not because i have to anyway uh so we have the nine inch led spot floodlight bar um, you can pick this up at walmart for like 30 bucks and it is bright as shit like it's 1700 looms uh, it runs off 12 to 24 volts, so it's actually designed for like a truck um, But I've got it mounted pretty much right here on the front of my bike Like so and then yeah, forgive the uh, the wonderful zip ties uh, I got to get brackets and get everything pretty much legit so it doesn't fall off or anything, but I mean it's it's on there pretty good. I mean, I'm I Can move the whole bike without it pretty much going uh, and then the uh, switch is right here and then one flick bam we have light all right and then yeah I'm gonna mount that uh, up here so that way I have uh, some ease of access all right so that's the light all right so floodlight bar by auto drive uh, you can get at Walmart for 30 bucks uh, they even have a six LED light so like half for 20 and it'll do the same thing one thing though that i didn't understand when i got it home was i needed to also get the wiring harness this is nine feet of wiring harness so it's kind of a pain uh i don't think i'm gonna splice or cut shit in half because like i said i'm not an electrical wizard but it's legitimately underneath like if i remove my seat bam right there in my air box uh, I'm gonna get a bracket and pretty much put all of this stuff in a safer condition yeah see look it's already putting pressure on all of this wiring Ugh, nine feet of wiring uh, but my uh, air filter which probably needs to be cleaned as well um, right on this bolt so I'm gonna try and make sure that there's something like a basket or something I can put on there uh, but one thing I also had to get was this Duralast Power Sports battery. I highly, highly recommend that you get this particular battery because it's so freaking small. I mean, like, I don't have huge hands, but, like, dude, it's seriously, like, four inches by, like, maybe four three or four i mean it's not huge which is a plus because it also has it's fully charged you don't have to worry about charging anything crazy um but yeah see no initial charge 
needed for riding. Yeah, and then um, looking back at the box too. Uh, so this is the GSX 4L. Uh, I picked this up at AutoZone and it was with the core charge and all that crap uh taxes and whatnot is like 86 bucks so not bad uh i read some reviews on it and it's gonna do what i need it to do basically run all my electrical because my bike is straight motocross so it's just a kickstart all right uh, i don't have a key or anything so this is kind of like what they call a total loss uh, so if I don't park, if I park it somewhere like in front of the grocery store or whatever, then it, if it gets boosted, then, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, it's an 05 anyway. Uh, the guy I picked it up from, I got it for like 1700 bucks and legit. I mean, tires are still pretty brand new. Uh, I'm going to swap them out for the dual sport enduro. So kind of going back to the list again for Texas, uh, it has to have... A headlight has to have a mirror right here. All right. Um, it has to have a tail light, and it also needs to have um, a horn, which my horn is kind of like super covert right here behind the front. Uh, again, you know, super ghetto, uh, zip tied up in there yeah so like i said it's still a work in progress um i've got to get the enduro tires to actually get it inspected but that's the last thing i'm waiting on so prime day hooked it up and got a really sweet deal um i got a 19 inch rear tire and a 21 inch front so i picked up the kenda 787 enduro dot approved uh, department of transportation approved tire so once that shows up and then the uh, enduro uh, front wheel as well uh, from kenda so swinging deal i think with the light being 30 bucks the wiring harness was 10 bucks from walmart uh the battery 86 uh, the wiring harness, the tusk wiring harness and whatnot for the real tail light. Uh, it has the front blinkers and stuff as well. Uh, that was 140 And I purchased another headlight, the uh, JFG Racing High Beam Low Beam one. Dude, do not buy that. That thing's a piece of crap. It didn't link up at all. It was super difficult to try and get all the um, stuff good to go oh yeah i can also turn this on so here we are we're on on come on back here you can see they're they're kind of yeah they're on and it even has like a little bottom license plate light as well um which then connects here to this bolt and will allow you to once i hit the uh the brake back here we'll actually light up the lights in the back for a break anyway um yeah so that's pretty much what i did i just got a little battery to run my electrical i got a wiring harness and a front headlight the mirror came with the tusk kit uh so yeah 150 so yeah you're looking about 300 something bucks man plus or minus and then uh taxes title registration all that to be determined i'm looking probably 600 bucks so yeah anyway i hope this video kind of helps you out um for install i'll probably do a part two uh because i've got to tear this bike apart and do a uh, carb clean on it but to basically get your bike good to go you got to find the space to set up your battery and then run your wires so that way you don't have any pinch points or heat areas where like if it was riding on my exhaust like that then obviously yeah it would probably burn it up um but that is legitimately all you need to do is get a battery that'll last you however long figure out your charging situation run your wiring and be good to go all right guys i hope this helped out and 
show me some comments or whatever if you want to see the install all right later